Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today, we're inside the security room, and we're going to be talking about a basic security system that you can use using solar panels and lights to protect your base. Well, it works as an early warning system. So on this board behind us, we have an outline of the base. The green dot represents the security room that I'm in here, that's in the center of this structure. And then the black dots represent different doorways. So if one of these green lights goes out, it means that someone is at that door. So how exactly does that work? Well, we're gonna take a quick trip outside here and we'll enter to one of the doors. So we've got this door here. We have a solar panel on this doorway here. And as soon as someone passes over this solar panel, the light basically goes out inside the control room. So it basically means that whatever entrance someone's coming through, you're going to have a reliable result on the light. So let's see if we can get back to the cockpit in, inside before it goes out. And there we go. You can see the lights out signaling that someone has entered through that doorway there. Now you could probably do this another way as well, and you can use the solar panels for many other things. And now to prove that it's clear, and no one is there, the light comes back on. And this works at the whole variety of doorways. I'll just show you with someone else doing it and at the, in the control panel at the same time. I mean, if you've got someone in this area looking after your base or even your ship in this case, it'll work very well. Now you can use this also for landing pads. Say you're running a little bit of a business and you've, you've got a few different landing pads in your base and you want to rent them out, but you don't know exactly which pad is occupied and which pad isn't. You could set up this same system. The ship lands on top of the landing pad and what happens then is the light will go out and when it lights on, it means you have an empty space. So you could start to say, all right, I've got space at the parking spot. You want to pay a bit of rent and you can park there in my hangar. So it could work pretty well. And there's loads of other options as well. It was only recently I caught a, a door that worked with this system. Basically the door on the solar panel, when it doesn't work, it turns off the power. But anyway, let's get down to the technical part. So let's rip away the floor and we'll see what's actually going on underneath. So I've just left this bit quite open at the bottom, but obviously you'd seal this up and make little corridors and air vents with these pipes going in. And you can see the pipes pipe to every major doorway around here. So these would be just little ventilation shafts. So we've got the one going over to the hangar over there. And we've got some unneeded, unfinished parts. Now you're probably wondering why all these lights are underneath. So for this to work, I'll just put a cockpit on the side here. And what you need to do is you need to make the power usage for the solar panel the maximum as possible so if we quickly have a look here you can see we're using 98.44 of our power from that solar panel so that means the slightest press on that solar panel will cut the power so you can see if we just had one more object the power cuts out one of these lights like so so what i've done is mixed up a combination of strobe lights that take up quite a lot of power and then a few of these little uh, conveyors that take up just the right amount of power as well and that makes it so it works and cuts the power to the light as fast as possible anyway let's move on so we're looking at another alternative for using the solar panel now or the motion sensor as you wish now this is a motion sensor door basically you cast a shadow on the solar panel cutting power to a gravity generator allowing the door to open so i'll just show you how it works we're getting henry here we'll fly him over and now you see as we cast a shadow on there, you can see the power is beginning to cut. And in turn, as the power is cut to the gravity generator, the other gravity generator pushing the other way now can push freely against the block, allowing it to open the door. So you can see as it's opening, it's very nice. The only problem with this sort of thing is it can be a little bit bouncy if you're not careful. So we fly straight through into our station or whatever. And now as we through to the other side, the power will kick back in from the gravity generator and it should seal the door back closed once again so there we go the doors closing behind us very nicely done indeed works very smoothly let's look at that you can see it closing got a cockpit there there's other ways as well you can basically lock this sort of design in place with all the landing gears as well that's what i really like about it but let's talk about how it works so to show how it works we need to probably just reset up and get back into position so we're going to put ourselves over there and we're going to cut power pretty much straight away. So the door is reopening. Power has been cut to this little generator here. So it's red. And that means that it can actually push freely against it. So it's pulling it all the way into this position here. So as that pushes, that's all good. Now let's move our ship off this just to demo. And then what happens next? So we'll pull our ship back. Now it's off that. 
Now, this takes a few seconds to recharge back up the solar panel to re-pick up power. And then this sort will reactivate and you'll be able to see the actual door moving back. The door's just bounced a little bit. That's what's causing the force as well. So now it's actually under power and the door should be sliding back into position. It's a little bit complicated and I've noticed a few errors in this sort of thing, but it does it seems to work pretty smoothly and, and it keeps the immersion up most importantly so you can see the gravity cubes there both sides doing the work a very nice job thanks for watching guys and hopefully this inspired you to have a play around using some motion sensors for your own base thanks for watching and i'll see you next time